Hi, I'm Elise, this is Witch Way, and in this video, I'll be taking you through the best witchy releases of 2022 with my top three films and top three TV series. <laughs> Starting with films, and we have the horror She Will. Film star Victoria has headed to a secluded retreat in the Scottish Highlands with her carer Desi, where she hopes to recover in solitude from a double mastectomy. Here she connects with the land and its history and finds it's not too late to reclaim her own power in more ways than one. This film also speaks of abuse, empowerment and has feminist undertones. It was a very different witch film where the witch wasn't cast as the villain. I love I loved this film and Alice Creege was the perfect casting choice for Victoria. I love her so much and you can check out my witch law review for more on this gorgeous film. But next up we have Hocus Pocus 2, the family adventure film and sequel to the original 90s Halloween cult classic. The Sanderson sisters are back, this time resurrected by a teenaged Becca and it's up to her and her friends to put a stop to them once again. This is a fun and campy film, very self-aware of the success of the original and incorporated its legacy into the sequel. Some parts are a bit cringe but I could say that about the original. I loved the portrayal of the young Sanderson sisters. These young actors did a great job picking up on each quirk of the different sisters. This film also built on the idea of good witches mentioned in the first film, with our main character discovering her own abilities, and again, you can check out for my witch lore review for more on this successful sequel. Next up is another horror with Hellbender. It's a classic case of a mother lying about their daughter's health condition to keep them secluded from other people. But this mother has another motive for isolating her daughter Izzy. They are hellbenders, witches with the ability to feed off blood and fear, and this can become addictive. Izzy learns to control her new power, mentored by her mother, but will she be able to control it? This coming-of-age film looks gorgeous and it was interesting to finally see a young witch being mentored by her mother when usually in film it's an aunt or other older female figure. Moving into series now with the fantasy drama horror Half Bad or The Bastard Son and the Devil Himself. Nathan is the son of a fairborn witch and a blood witch. His father was responsible for the massacre of hundreds of witches and the witch community fear that his son will follow in his father's footsteps. But due to a prophecy, others believe he may be the one to take down his father. Nathan is being pushed to take on this prophecy, training for the time when his power will awaken. But he finds his own way, guided not only by hatred and fear, but also friendship, love, and self-discovery. This series was a very different take on witches. It's set in our own world with a secret war going on between different clans of witches. It's dark but beautiful and the characters again are amazing. Next is the horror mystery Archive 81, which follows Melody, documenting the history of the Vissa apartment building and discovering its occult connections. But we are seeing her story through Dan's eyes, who is the one restoring Melody's tapes, which were damaged in a fire. He soon finds out that he may have his own connections to Melody's story and starts to question his own sanity. This series was very well done. I loved the characters and I liked the series spin on the found footage genre, connecting the viewer with the documenter. And of course, it's occult content. You can find my witch law review for more on that too. Next up is the dark comedy series, Wednesday. Wednesday Adams is sent to Nevermore, a school for exceptional young outcasts. The discovery of a prophecy and her own part in the school's downfall, a monster on the loose and realizing her own abilities intrigues Wednesday to uncover the truth behind what is happening at the school. Jenna Ortega is outstanding as Wednesday. I loved this dark series and the nods to Edgar Allan Poe and director Tim Burton's previous works. 
Witches and the Addams Family just works and I would love to see more of that and since this series became quickly ingrained into our viral pop culture with the now famous Wednesday dance, I can't wait for season two. And of course, I would also like to mention again the witchy podcast that came out this year, The Witch's Gloves. Grace is on a journey of self-discovery as she has become aware of the fact that she is a witch. She finds love, a coven, and the power to overcome her fears. I'll link it below so you can have a listen. See if you can hear my cameo. There were many witch films released in 2022. I have watched most of them already, so I would be able to make a good judgement on this top three, and I will be talking about some of these more in my December, January witch watch recommendations. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find some of them in time, but when I do, I will be reviewing them in my witch watch recommendations and other witchy films, some of which we will be able to watch together, so keep an eye out for that and be sure to subscribe. Let me know your favourite films of 2022 as well as any other witchy recommendations for my upcoming witch law reviews. Please remember to like this video, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy and as always thank you very much for watching here on Witch Way.